mia, che bello panino! Wow, fantastico! In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can make an Italian sandwich with under five minutes, the easiest way with leftover pizza dough. Guarda qua, mamma mia, okay. Welcome guys to Old Town Temecula in California. My name is Carmen Casarela. I'm one of the 92 members all of America certified in the real Napolitan pizza. Shh. People ask me, what can I do with leftover pizza dough? Super simple, we can make an Italian sandwich. First thing we're gonna do is we have our, our pizza dough right here. And you can see, it's already proof nice. Even if you have leftover pizza dough, it's fine. Throw a little bit of semolo flour, cut your dough, take your dough and put it on the counter. Make sure you throw some semolo flour on the side. Easy, watch. We're just gonna press the outsides of the dough, just the outsides, and then go to the middle. We don't want the air, right? So it doesn't really matter in this case. Outside and in. And then when you get to this point, smack the dough, get all that air out. That's what we don't want. And we're gonna stretch the dough a little bit. Stretch, stretch. We don't wanna stretch it as big as a pizza because it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna open it up like this. And then you get the desire that you want. In this case, I want my sandwich to be here, right? Now here's the secret, guys. We're gonna need olive oil because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some olive oil. Watch this, watch really closely, pay attention. You're gonna put olive oil. Very important, you just wanna put your olive oil on one half, just this half. Get this side that doesn't have the olive oil and what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and you're gonna flip it just like this. What this is gonna do is gonna act as a barrier so the pizza is not gonna stick, all right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your peel, put a little bit of flour, and if you're using a home oven, it's fine. You don't need to use a pizza peel. Just have your oven set at 550 degrees. And uh, with this water fire oven, it's gonna take about two, three minutes because I had the fire off. Just watch. Okay. Look, at, look at the kiss. This is a beautiful kiss, guys. When we're gonna open it up, look at that. It's gonna be such a beautiful sandwich. That's why we got the oil in there. It's frying nice. Yeah. And it's also separating the dough so you can have a nice sandwich. I think the probably only Mamma mia, wow! Fantastico, guys, look at this. Look at this, take a look, take a look at this. Wow. Mamma mia, I want to munch out probably, see. You see, when you put the oil, like I told you before, look at that sandwich, beautiful. Now let's fill this, mamma mia. This is going to be one of my favorite sandwiches that we're going to make. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the homemade pesto. Put as much as you want. For me, mamma mia, I love a pesto. You put the bell of pesto over here. Now I got some organic lettuce. And we're gonna put all the lettuce in here. Now we're gonna put some, uh, you wanna make sure you get really good prosciutto. You can see this is the DOP. DOP just means that it's real. In Italian we say, Donem Nazione Origine Protect. It means it's a protected product. If you wanna buy really good prosciutto, make sure it has a DOP uh, label. You can go to Italian market. You can also go to your local Trader Joe's. They have really good prosciutto. And now we're gonna just make it nice. We wanna fill it up. We wanna make this Italian style, no halfway. My favorite ingredient, mamma mia, mozzarella buffalo. If you guys don't know what mozzarella de buffalo is, it is the most, the best cheese in the world. Back in the 12th century, the first uh, mozzarella got invented with water buffaloes. That's why it's called mozza, means to cut. If you, if you wanna see my video how to make real homemade mozzarella, check it out. This is incredible. So we're gonna open the sandwich and we're just gonna open it just like this. Get all the juice, the cream. If you think the burrata is good, forget about it. This is the real deal. Look at this. Look at that sandwich. Fantastico, guys. Mamma mia, look at this Bella sandwich. Look at that, look at it. Hear the crunch, hear the crunch. Look at that, look at that. Woo. Now let's cut it. This is how you make an Italian sandwich in five minutes. Forget about it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. If not, arrivederci and I'll see you soon.